Your batteries will ship separately from the BOSS 12 unit in individual boxes. Make sure to inspect the batteries for any damage that may have occurred from shipping. Unpack the individual batteries from the box. Remember to read carefully the installation guide thoroughly before assembling your BOSS 12 unit. Mount the BOSS 12 unit on level concrete. Six 1 inch knockouts are located in the base and mounting feet on the BOSS 12. For a precast concrete pad, a 4 inch minimum thickness is required. Make sure all five battery module circuit breakers are in the off position. Prepare the battery modules for installation by removing all black and red terminal boots. 11 16th inch stainless steel hex nuts and 3 8 inch lock washers from the battery's terminals and set aside. Begin placing the batteries into the BOSS 12, starting at the bottom of the enclosure. Be sure that the battery terminals point forward toward the door with the negative posts nearest the bottom of the enclosure. Position the batteries on each shelf so that they are centered and positioned directly next to each other. Place all batteries on their respective shelf. Remember to have the battery terminals point forward toward the door with the negative posts nearest the bottom of the enclosure. When placing the batteries on the top shelf, ensure that they are placed towards the right in order to make space for the venting fan located on the left side of the top shelf. After placing all the batteries on each shelf, once all batteries are in the enclosure, confirm that all the battery module circuit breakers are still in the off position. Place the bus bars across the battery terminals. Arrange the bus bars so that the cable landings are opposite one another and the threaded cable mounting on the bus bar faces towards the battery. Now secure the bus bars to the battery terminal posts. Begin by placing the 3 8 inch flat brass washer on the terminal, followed by the 3 8 inch lock washer, and finally the 3 8 inch hex nut. Repeat this for all terminal posts, ensuring to tighten to a torque value of 160 inch-pounds. While tightening, be sure to secure the battery in place by holding it so it doesn't move. After securing the bus bar to all battery terminals, place the black terminal caps over the terminals ensuring to cover the 3 8 inch hex nut. Now that all the batteries are paralleled with the bus bars secured, prepare the 5-point terminal block for landing the cabling. Remove the plastic 5-point terminal block cover by lifting. Each 5-point terminal block has a small wire coming from the venting fan that is already connected to the 5-point terminal block. Remove the nut and this small wire before connecting the cables from the battery banks to the 5-point terminal block. This wire can be delicate, so be sure to remove carefully and place to the side. Proceed to remove the nuts and lock washers from the 5-point terminal block. Connect 2 aught cable to each bus bar using the included 3 8 inch brass hex head cap screw. When connecting the brass hex head cap screw, ensure the lock washer is placed over the screws threaded first, followed by the flat brass washer. On the top shelf, attach the cable at an approximate 45 degree angle when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends toward the 5 point terminal block. This allows the cabling to be routed more easily. Now, secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand so that it doesn't twist or move. Route the cables from the bus bar along the sidewall down towards the 5 point terminal block. The cable will come down, extend back behind the 5 point terminal block, and come back up so that the lug is attached to the 5-point terminal block. 
the topmost shelf's bus bar cable will land on the outermost terminal to the right. This terminal post will also be where the venting fan's smaller wire is attached. Be sure to first attach the bus bar lug, followed by the small venting fan wire. After both the bus bar lug and venting fan wire have been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the small wire by holding it in one hand while tightening the nut. On the shelf second from the top, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly down towards the 5 point terminal block. This allows the cabling to be routed more easily. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand so that it doesn't twist or move. Similar to the top shelf, route the cables from the bus bar along the sidewall, down towards the 5 point terminal block. The cable will come down, extend back between the battery bank and the sidewall, and wrap up to be secured to the 5 point terminal block. This lug will land on the terminal second in from the right. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, Proceed to place the lock washer and the nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. On the shelf second from the bottom, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly down away from the 5 point terminal block. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand so that it doesn't twist or move. Route the cables from the bus bar directly back between the battery bank and sidewall. The cable will extend back between the battery bank and the sidewall and wrap up to be secured to the 5 point terminal block. This lug will land on the terminal second in from the left. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. On the bottom shelf, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly up towards the 5 point terminal block. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. Route the cables from the bus bar directly up and back between the battery bank on the shelf directly above the bottom shelf and sidewall. The cable will extend back between the battery bank and the sidewall and wrap up to be secured to the 5 point terminal block. This lug will land on the far left terminal. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and the nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. The middle terminal on the 5 point terminal block will be used to connect the final lug. This final lug connects the BOSS 12 to the ancillary power electronics equipment. A properly sized wire should be used to carry the max surge current of the combined storage assembly. Now, with all the positive bus bar lugs landing on the 5 point terminal block, replace the plastic covering that was removed earlier. After securing the lug to the bus bar, place the black bolt caps over the brass hex bolts. A similar procedure will be used for the negative terminals. Beginning with the top shelf, attach the cable at a 45 degree angle towards the sidewall with the cabling going down towards the 5 point terminal block. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand 
so that it doesn't twist or move. Route the top shelf negative cable down the sidewall of the enclosure. Route the cable between the battery bank on the second shelf from the bottom and the sidewall. The cable will extend towards the back of the unit, under the five point terminal block, and loop back up to finally connect onto the five point terminal block. The topmost shelf's bus bar cable will land on the outermost terminal to the left. This terminal post will also be where the venting fan's smaller wire is attached. Be sure to first attach the bus bar lug, followed by the small venting fan wire. After both the bus bar lug and venting fan wire have been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the small wire by holding it in one hand while tightening the nut. On the shelf second from the top, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly down towards the five point terminal block. This allows the cabling to be routed more easily. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. Similar to the top shelf, route the cables from the bus bar along the sidewall down towards the five point terminal block. The cable will come down, extend back between the battery bank and the sidewall, and wrap up to be secured to the five point terminal block. This lug will land on the terminal second in from the left. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. On the shelf second from the bottom, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly down away from the five point terminal block. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand so that it doesn't twist or move. Route the cable from the bus bar directly down towards the bottom shelf. The cable will track back and up and be guided between the shelf and sidewall, and then up towards the five point terminal block. Once the cable has been guided up to the terminal block, the lug will land on the terminal second in from the right. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. On the bottom shelf, attach the cable at 90 degrees when securing it to the bus bar. Angle the cable so it extends directly up towards the five point terminal block. Secure the cable lug to the bus bar by tightening the brass hex head cap screw to 160 inch pounds of torque. While tightening, secure the lug with the other hand so that it doesn't twist or move. Route the cable from the bus bar directly up and back between the battery bank on the shelf directly above the bottom shelf and sidewall. The cable will extend back between the battery bank and the sidewall and wrap up to be secured to the five point terminal block. This lug will land on the far right terminal. After the bus bar lug has been placed over the terminal, Proceed to place the lock washer and nut back onto the terminal. When tightening, be sure to secure the lug with one hand while tightening the nut securely. The middle terminal on the five point terminal block will be used to connect the final lug. This final lug connects the BOSS 12 to the ancillary power electronics equipment. A properly sized wire should be used to carry the max surge current of the combined storage assembly. Now, with all the negative bus bar lugs landing on the five point terminal block, replace the plastic covering that was removed earlier. 
After securing the lug to the bus bar, place the black bolt cover over the brass hex bolt. 